12, I asked of my father, Ayatollah Muhammad Fakir Khadati, by Iran's intelligence ministry, is symptomatic of the Islamic Republic's campaign against Islam. The Islamic Republic of Iran is paranoid and terrified of traditional clerks who reject the rule of the jurisprudence, the Layat al the philosophical doctrine in which the Islamic Republic, uh, on which Islamic Republic is based. Following the post-election violence, the Islamic Republic has been actively defining members of the Green Movement as either anti-Islamic or uh, pro-Western, so as to delegitimize the possible threat or and bolster the regime's own Islamic credentials. The Islamic Republic is not concerned whether the system is seen as truly democratic, but they care deeply whether it is accepted as the only truly Islamic system of the government. Questioning Islamic legitimacy is outside the realm of the secular politicians and academics. Only clerics can do it. It is within this context that Ayatollah Hussein Ali Montazeli, who recently passed away, and Ayatollah Yusuf Sani'i, two clerics who have not shied from expressing their discontent with the current regime, are framed as major threats to the Islamic image of the Islamic Republic. The city of Qom, the religious and ritual capital of the worldwide Shia community, was very quiet after the June 12 Greek elections. It was only recently, with the passing of Ayatollah Montazeli, where hundreds of thousands came to Qom, not only to pay their final respect, but to reiterate their support for Montazeri's anti khamenei and anti-Islamic Republic views. The protests in Qom were perceived to be so threatening that after the funeral, all ceremonies for Montazeri around the country were banned. Coincidentally, though, December 27th, the seventh day after Montazeri's passing, which in Shi'i practice is one of the key days to mourn, was the major Shi'i holiday of Ashura. The importance of this day propelled the regime to crack down on one of the hallmarks of Shi'ism, a major blow to both their popularity and Islamic legitimacy. The regime is attempting to prevent a repeat of the last month's damages to their legitimacy by waging a campaign against Ayatollah Sani. There have been efforts to silence him, including shutting down and attacking his offices in different cities. A political cler clerical institution, associa Association of Teachers of Qom Seminaries, which is associated with Khamenei uh, and exercises a pernicious influences within the clerical establishment, has gone so far as issuing statements that claim Ayatollah Sani'i is not fit to be followed by worshippers. Yet the various government pressures over Sani'i has propelled him to greater popularity with the people. His explicit support of the Green Movement and criticism of the government's oppression irritates and worries the <coughs> As of recently, Ayatollah Sani'i warned that the behavior of the government is tarnishing the image of Islam worldwide. My father, Ayatollah Muhammad Taqi Khalaji, is a prominent colleague who was close to Montazeri and is still close to Sani. He is an influential orator who voted <coughs> for opposition presidential candidate Mir Hussein Mustafi and completely supported the Green Movement. <coughs> Additionally, he led his criticism against the Islamic Republic not merely from a political perspective, but from a religious perspective. The last time he spoke was on the eve of Ashura at the residence of Sani, where worshippers, mainly from the middle and upper classes, heard him criticize the regime's policy. He was arrested on January 12, 2010, but four members of the intelligence ministry. His whereabouts are still unknown. Unfortunately, 
some other things have been also as including Ahmad Fadl and the, another disciple of Ayatollah Muntazir. My father was in prison under the Shah's regime for supporting Khomeini. After the revolution, he was closed with some of the founding fathers of the Islamic Republic, but over time uh, became distant. In the entire breadth of the Islamic Republic, my father never held a government position. Nonetheless, <coughs> he is a representative of a faction within the clerical establishment who consider themselves genuine heirs of the Islamic Revolution of, the, of 1979, but betrayed but by leaders who have no Islamic principles or democratic values. In one of his last statements, Ayatollah Montazili said that the Islamic Republic is neither Islamic nor Republic, but merely a military government claiming to be <coughs> fighting for Islam. <coughs> Clerks like Montazili, Sani, and my father are the sole connection that is able to bridge the religious and secular strata of Iranian society. Once these two became unified, once they do become unified, they will present an unstoppable opposition that will not stand down. These religious men are trying to design an Islamic conceptual apparatus for the justification of democracy. The work and linkage of these colleagues will not only be limited to Iran or just the Shi'i community, but the greater Islamic world. They are looking for the real Islamic people. Thank you.